All right, Ultra Clean Holdings. Want to talk about UCTT on Nasdaq? Uh, we talked about it before earnings, and earnings came out. Earnings were good. Uh, stock went down anyways, and I think that's a mistake. Um, we know we normally say, you know, let's let's see what earnings is. If you if you own it, you know, don't change going into earnings. But if you don't own it and you want to try and uh, get a pop on earnings, it's a bad idea. You're better off to see what the earnings are. And if it's something you wanted to see, you know, like you liked earnings, you thought it was good, you liked the prospects, you liked the guidance, all that stuff, um, you know, go ahead and, and jump in on it. And uh, unfortunately, this is one of the few times we say get in before. We thought it was going to be great. It actually was really good. I, You can't fully explain why the market didn't like it. I mean, you've got a, some idea, some notion. Um, certainly the market as a whole has pulled back, as you, you would know. Uh, you know, Nasdaq's getting killed every day, um, and uh, even the big names like uh, you know Facebook and Amazon and Google and all those are getting hurt as well. So some of this is getting lumped in with that, and then oh, and then the, the higher risk names are getting even uh, killed even more. Some of the ones that are more speculative, you know, did really well during pandemic, like uh, Zoom. Although I'm starting to actually like Zoom now, but. I think you would agree that it's a bit more, you know, in the future, more speculative in that regard. Um, some of those type names, uh, Peloton's another one that's getting killed um, more than these, uh, the, more than the Giants and more than these ones with good cash flow. But I do think they, they do kind of get all lumped in. So if, you, if you're the type of guy that needs an explanation, that's the explanation. Um, if you're the type of guy who just sees an opportunity, uh, well, welcome to this video. This is what uh, we're talking about. I think this is, a, this is a great opportunity. I really do. All right. So let's just talk about the quarter. First of all, revenue is up 30%. Okay. We're not seeing that in a lot of semis. We're seeing some good reports in the semis. Uh, we're seeing actually a lot of uh, decent revenue growth, uh, beating on the top line, beating on the bottom line. And then that guidance is a little funny because of uh, there's the shortage which is good for some guys, but holds things up for others. But so mixed on on the guidance, uh, but we're seeing beats on top and bottom line like uh, a lot. So uh, with with Ultra Clean, you actually missed the top line just a little bit, still up thirty percent. I'm I'm not going to complain if you uh, can post thirty percent revenue growth during a pandemic. I'm good with it. It's a little miss. It's okay especially when the earnings are uh, up 58% and beat by 9.8%. Uh, I'm okay with it, and especially since we think it's cheap and it looks good in our model. So let's take a look at our model. And uh, there you see the history. Uh, a little bit sporadic up and down, uh, but really on a bit of a tear right now. Uh, earnings, or sorry, return on capital went from 11% to 21, now 22 when we include uh, this last quarter. Now, if we annualize this quarter, it gets even better. I'm not even going to show that on here, but it, it it goes up a little bit more. So basically, take this last quarter, multiply that cash flow by four instead of using the trailing, and you get even a better rate of return. As you can see, the valuation on our default is quite high uh, relative to the price. So uh, we're getting $82. Uh, it's trading at $47. That's on a default basis. So you, know, you want to do some scenarios to maybe say how robust that is, but... I can tell you it's pretty hard to do a scenario that's below $47. You want some more evidence. Probably want to look at some sort of multiple. Uh, well, uh, earnings for 2021 are 389, trading at 47. So what's that, like 12 times? Uh, 442 for uh, 2022. So less than, uh, or sorry, just a little bit over 10 times, uh, 2022. EBITDA. This is trailing is only 12. That to me is a better multiple, by the way, than uh, PE. But EV EBITDA, 12 times. By the way, they have a great balance sheet. Uh, good working capital, $9.68 just in working capital. Now, mind you, there is some debt. It's $8 a share. But uh, relative to this uh, size of the company, this debt is actually very low. So I say, look, you got... You got you got a lot of check marks here. You got growing company, beat earnings, shares are down. 
we'll talk about that for one second. I don't want to go too long in this video, but um, there's a psychological component to uh, when shares are down. You know, everybody says before they go down, oh, I buy it on a pullback, I buy it on a pullback. That pullback comes, and, and a lot of people don't do it. They get nervous, right? And I understand. I've, I've been there myself. What I miss? What's going on? What, you know, don't overthink it. Just trust me. Do not overthink. This is a great company in a great space. Uh, so we got that. We got a great valuation on your side. You got just so many things on your side here. Um, and I just think it's time to step in. It's just too cheap and just too good.